Okay, sorry about that. This is part two of reading, and we were reading Roy Diggs Dirt. So let's finish the book. Tonight, there's a skunk in the jungle. Now, Roy's dirty and stinky. Did I mention Roy hates baths? At night, Roy digs in his sleep. Every morning, he runs outside to see if his dirt is still there. It's the same dirt, but it seems brand new to Roy. The whole world is built on top of dirt. Roy digs the world. Okay, so we're going back to our standard. Retell the story, including key details and the central message. So this is what I've always used in the classroom, pizza. So the pizza is the main idea of what the whole story is about. Obviously, Roy likes dirt. Okay, so that's our whole story is going to be about Roy and dirt. Now, the key details are the ingredients. So we're going to give three key details of the story. Okay, Roy loves dirt, but he hates baths. Roy likes to, like, scatter the critters or mess with the critters in the jungle. If Roy does not go outside to play in the dirt, tears up the whole house. But all together, the whole story is not about him tearing up the house. The whole story is not about the critters in the jungle. The whole story is not about him hating a bath. The whole story is about Roy digging dirt. These are just the details. Now you can do this with some other books in your house as well. Now, the next one for reading this week is I can describe characters, setting, major events in a story using key details. And we're going to use the same exact book. And I've always used the five finger retell method in the classroom. So characters, setting, and then these would be some of the details, the beginning, middle, and end. So characters, we've got Roy. Setting would be his backyard, the jungle, his house. And we need to um, describe Key de using key details. Okay, so key details. Roy always goes outside and plays in the dirt. He loves mud. He calls it dirt gravy. And he gets really dirty. Another key detail is when he gets dirty, he has to take a bath. And he absolutely hates baths. And then he gets stuck in the house. And when he's in the house, he tears up everything because he wants to be out in the dirt. And in the end, we can see that Roy is back out in the dirt, so he gets what he wants. He's probably a spoiled pup and gets to come back in dirty and then takes a bath all over again. So use this at home, and I will upload it to the Google Classroom for your students um, to use with any book you have in your house or books online. And then I will also upload this week's um, I Can statements so you can refer to them. I hope this helps, and have a great week. Good luck.